Godrej Aerospace has started manufacturing modules for the 48 kN dry cavalry engine for DRDO's gas turbine research establishment, and as per latest reports, Godrej Aerospace is all set to secure orders for the production of the 4.4 kN manic engine, that will be used to power the 1,500 km range long-range land attack cruise missile. The DRDO is pushing for 100% indigenous content in the LRLACM program, as delay in even the minor imported components can hit missile production rate. The LRLACM will be mass-produced due to cheaper cost of 12 crore rupees per unit, and will be a part of the upcoming Indian rocket force. The US administration has asked General Electric to disclose the number of committed aircraft that will be powered by the F-414 INS-6 engine, that has been offered for local production in India. General Electric has agreed to manufacture the F-414 INS-6 engine including its hot section, but the US will hold the intellectual property rights of the engine. The US administration has also asked General Electric that it should explain measures it plans to take to prevent any potential breach of the engine's intellectual property rights by India, as a result, the clearance for the local manufacturing of the engine is currently being withheld, but it is expected to be cleared once US administration is satisfied with response. After the Indian Army user trials revealed minor issues with the QR SAMS radar's ability to engage hovering helicopters at low altitudes and minimum range, the DRDO has said that it has resolved the glitches in the system. The QR SAM will be sent for further user trials later this year, and orders for the system will be placed by the Indian Army by the end of 2024. The QR SAM is highly mobile and can be deployed quickly on the battlefield and can target aerial threats such as fighter jets, helicopters, UAVs and cruise missiles from a range of 30 kilometers. India has issued no time warning for a launch of a missile in the Bay of Bengal for the period from 18th to 19th of May 2023, and the designated area for the no time is 1,680 kilometers in length which indicates it might be a test of the Agni Prime new generation nuclear-capable ballistic missile, that has a range of 2,000 km, and has modern features making it highly maneuverable and accurate. The DRDO is also working on a new anti-ship variant equipped with two maneuverable re-entry warheads, that can be used to destroy enemies' aircraft carrier group. The Indian Army is procuring 823 units of 8x8 high mobility vehicles for general service, that will be used for transportation of heavy equipment, including towing of trailers loaded with tanks and other equipments weighing up to 50 tons, and with payload capacity not less than 12,000 kg on highway. The Indian Army is also procuring 259 8x8 high mobility vehicles with material handling cranes of 2 ton capacity, and will be used for handling of stores to save man hours and also improve their efficiency. After the recent crash landing in JNK, the Indian Army has grounded the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopters, which makes it the second time that the helicopters manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics to be grounded this year, and the helicopters will once again undergo technical checks before being cleared for flying. A team consulting with Hindustan Aeronautics wants that the control rod used in the gearbox to be made of a stronger material such as steel instead of aluminium, as failure of control in the gearbox results in the helicopter not responding correctly to the pilot's inputs.